Hi, I'm a noob to ADV riding, but I got some expert advice on what gear I should be wearing on my first ever ADV ride, and I'm gonna share that with you today. I'm also gonna talk about just some other miscellaneous items that I'm taking uh, along for the trip and what I think I'll need. And if you guys wanna leave suggestions as well in the comments, I would really appreciate it, because like I said, I'm a noob. <laughs> yeah, so I have no idea what to expect, but I asked some people that have done ADV riding before, and this is what they told me I should be taking. Okay, but first things first, before we get into it, let me make the announcement. A couple weeks ago, I got invited by none other than Harley Davidson to go out to the Mojave Desert in California and ride at their Zakar facility to do a demo ride of the Pan America. <laughs> literally insane. What? I've never ridden ADV. So obviously I said yes immediately and the rest I was gonna figure out along the way. Okay, now you guys know I'm a street, street rider. I like to ride on the street. I ride an MT-07 and uh, that gear is not really um, suited for ADV riding. Adventure riding is a beast all of its own. So I reached out to Revzilla, got help from one of their gear geeks, and uh, they recommended some gear that I could take with me and sent it out to me, which I'm extremely grateful for because I would be so ill-prepared for this trip otherwise. But the good thing about their picks is that they actually fit very well and they're budget-friendly. So all right, I'm gonna put you down and uh, I'll put the gear on and let's talk about it. Okay, let's just start with the pantalones. Okay, we have the Alpine Stars Stella Andes V3 pants. Let's put these bad boys on. Now I'm probably gonna be wearing something like this, biker shorts uh, underneath, or if it's like colder out, maybe some leggings. But they already kind of have a lot of padding on the inside, so I don't think I'll be cold. They come with, ow, suspenders. I'm wearing a size small in these, and honestly, they fit me perfectly. I'm 5'4", got a pretty athletic, skinny build, uh, 120 pounds. So that's what we're working with. Size small, fits great. They got ventilation and armor and they're kind of cozy. So <laughs> heck yeah, let's go. Next for the jacket, we've got the Alpine Stars Stella Andes V3. It's the same thing that goes with the pants. It's like a set, also in a size small. These were uh, recommendations by Gear Geek at Revzilla. And I have to say, I agree with his picks because they do fit well. Even though I was surprised to see that um, this gear only came in a, like, a small, medium, large, like it didn't have European sizes that I'm used to. Like uh, typically all my stuff is uh, from Revit, which I really love. And they have like size 34, 36, 38, and so on. These guys just have a small, medium, large. Oh yeah. Got vents again, vents for days. Well, I guess the, the two important vents. Uh, you have like waterproof pockets on the inside. There's like extra <laughs> bells and whistles to like tie things and make it more um, like snug of a fit. But I actually like how the small uh, fits me like pretty well. It goes with the pants uh, really well. So we do your do a little turn around. Okay, as far as gloves go, I didn't ask Revzilla for a pair of gloves because I already have a lot of different Revit gloves. And these are the uh, Revit Spectrum gloves. They're really lightweight gloves. I would say they're more for like everyday city riding, but I'm actually going to take them because they're really comfortable and um, they don't take up a lot of space. And I'm gonna have, since I'm gonna be flying into LA, I'm not gonna have a, a ton of space. I'm already gonna have to fit all this gear in a carry-on. So um, I, I actually like really like these. These are the Revit Spectrum in a size small. But if you did want Revit like actual ADV gloves, they do have uh, a pair called the Sand 4. As far as boots go, we have the TCX Lady Tour boots in a size 38. And check this out, you guys. Couldn't have made a better choice. Made in Romania. Heck yeah. <laughs> uh, if you guys don't know, I am from Romania. Salut la toți. Let's put these things on. They actually are a perfect size for me, so no complaints about the size. And uh, the pants like, fit really nicely over them. So, there we go. Looking pretty snazzy if I do say so myself. All right, as far as the helmet goes, this was again another recommendation by Gear Geek at Revzilla. We've got the Bell MX-9 Adventure Mips helmet, and it actually looks pretty cool. Love the matte black. Love me some matte black helmets. You guys know that. But let's put this bad boy on so you can see what it looks like. People have asked me in the past, do I ride with my glasses? Yes, I do. I made two whole videos on riding with your glasses. So you guys, uh, you guys can check those out. They'll, uh, I'll, I'll link them in the cards here and I'll link them also in the description of the video. Okay, so for this helmet, for riding with glasses, it, it's fine. Like even these ones that have a thick frame are okay. 
but I do have to like find the correct thing for them because it is a tight fit and I don't want to like bend my glasses the wrong way. So just gently. There we go actually, I think, I think that works for me. And uh, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's kind of what it would look like. Now they're not really like resting on my, <laughs> on my nose. Um, they're kind of like, I don't know if you can tell. They're kind of like hovering a little bit above my nose, but they're being held like pretty snugly in place by the helmet, so that doesn't really bother me. Yeah, there we go. That'll be the uh, whole gear setup that I have going on. I'm really actually happy with this whole outfit. I have no complaints because everything actually fits me perfectly, so I don't know. Maybe I just lucked out and everything fits perfectly, or I think I'm just used to having like way tighter street gear all the time on, so like when I get something like this that like still fits snugly but is like not as like restrictive it feels like a whole different world i quite enjoy this oh yeah let's get, let's get the jacket off it's, it's kind of hot <laughs> bro what the heck aesthetic do i have going on right now check this out <laughs> yeah dang you guys i should start wearing suspenders more often i'm like not not upset with this look <laughs> Anyways, yeah, let's get to some of the other things that I'm packing. Okay, but I guess I also have to give you guys some details about the trip. Uh, this isn't like traditional ADV trip where you're like camping. If you want to know about camping and ADV riding, please check out uh, As the Magpie Flies, this channel. Oh my god, Amanda has so many videos on this uh, topic and they're super cinematic and the storytelling is beautiful, so... I will leave a link to her channel if you're interested in like camping ADV type stuff. So for this trip, although we're gonna be gone all day and we're gonna be training and learning how to ADV ride, we will be coming back to the Harley Davidson um, Zakar compound in the Mojave Desert at the end of the day. So we're not gonna have to worry about like tents and taking like extra food and things like that with us. Um, so those will be there for us. So yeah, it's not entirely a adventure trip <laughs> where we have like minimal amenities. But honestly, the Pan America doesn't strike me as a minimal amenities type of bike, so. Uh, okay, you're gonna have to bear with me. This is a little bit messy and just kind of like laying out what I want to take. So we've already covered gear. Okay, hear me out. I know nights in the desert get cold, so heated socks. Oh my god. I'm not e I don't even think I'll be riding with these because those boots, uh, the TCX boots are like great. They're nice and warm and waterproof. But he did socks at night in the bed. Oh my goodness. Game changer. They literally like just plug into like your standard wall charger and they've got like these little battery packs that go um on the side of the sock here in these like little pockets. I did I did a whole review on like heated gear. I'll I'll link that at the end too. And I I talked about these socks. Holy crap, these are heavenly. Ten out of ten. I sleep with these just off the bike. I use these probably more off the bike than I do on the bike. Would highly recommend heated socks. I'll link this pair in the description along with my heated gear video. Okay, definitely gonna be taking uh my two GoPros. I'm not sure that I will actually mount this on um the bell helmet because right now it's all on the uh Sedici helmet, my whole mode of vlogging setup, and I kind of don't want to like take it off just to mount it on this one and then have to redo it. So I might record voiceovers, but I'm thinking I can do like a handlebar mount uh with one of these, maybe put one of these in the back or something like that. And I know uh, Harley Davidson is also going to be filming footage of their own, so um we'll have some of that footage to use as well. Okay, we got Socks, underwear, bras, little stuff like that, undergarments in there. Uh, a pair of fuzzy socks, cause like, I don't know, what if, <laughs> what if these aren't enough? <laughs> what if I need, I don't know you guys, you think I should take heated socks and fuzzy socks? Now I'm thinking about it. You know, if, if there's room in the carry-on, why not? Uh, again, cause they told me the desert gets cold at night, I'm gonna take um two just like sweatshirts that I like. Check, check this one out. I think I've shown you this one on my channel before in STEM we trust, yes we do. Love this one. And then the other one's just plain. Okay, mas pantalones. Um, basically a pair of like jeggings because I, I don't know if, if they're gonna be taking any other like photos or we're going out or somewhere. I'd rather have just like something that I could wear underneath the um, Alpine Stars pants if I wanted to, but also they would just look nice. And then another pair of leggings because this doubles up as like literally anything. I could sleep with it. I could uh, wear it under the pants if I wanted to. I could wear them on their own. Okay, for all the boys watching, I'm sure you're super interested, but I'm taking a little bit of makeup so that I don't have to look like a hag. <laughs> 
And just kidding, you guys. I am a beautiful. That was supposed to be my King Julian impression, but I think it was pretty bad. Uh, obviously, sunscreen and a facial moisturizing lotion. This stuff is really good. I'm pretty sure I've recommended this in a previous video that I did for like gifts biker girls uh, want. If I didn't, um, I'm not sure why I didn't, because it's good. Okay, ibuprofen. I feel like this one is a given. Just, I don't know how much back pain or something I'm gonna have at the end of the day. I don't know how uh, rough adventure riding gets, but uh, yeah, this should come in handy. And then uh, some bitch stickers, just in case, aka band-aids. Um, laptop, of course, because I will probably be trying to do a little bit of editing uh, while I'm there. I'm not exactly sure how much downtime we'll have between uh, the three days that we're there. This thing is definitely coming with me. It's the Women Riders Now neck warmer or balaclava, whatever you call it. Um, this basically just helps to keep the wind out. It's not like, it's not super thick, but it is super stretchy. I got that one from Maduro Moto at the IMS show. She was super lovely. She's another lady that rides. I'll link to her social media in the description also. And then lastly, uh, continuing the theme of staying warm, uh, hand warmers, because I, I don't know, people just said it gets really cold at night. And since we are going to November, I mean, I figured I might as well just toss a couple pairs of these. I've literally had these for like two years and never used them. They were just like sitting in the drawer of my nightstand. I get, I get pretty cold pretty easily. So not upset about that. Um, this is just like my little pouch. I always have this with me for phone, wallet, keys, ID, stuff like that. And then uh, two t-shirts uh, in case it isn't that warm and I don't have to wear my sweatshirts. Might as well have some t-shirts ready to go. I'll probably have another one on the airplane with me. So I'll have three total. So yeah, I think I'm gonna fine tune like what toiletries and stuff I'm bringing. But other than that, um, I kind of have a theme this year where I'm trying to not pack as much or trying to learn how to pack light in the past that used to be an overpacker. And this year I've started to be like an underpacker. I've like drifted into the opposite spectrum of the problem. So I'm not sure if this is enough stuff or it's too much stuff, but if you guys have done ADV trips uh, and you want to help out somebody else that's trying to do an ADV trip, I'm sure the comments will be a gold mine of good information. Right guys, you're not gonna let me down. I'm counting on you guys to give me some good information. Hopefully this was uh, kind of helpful. I'll definitely have videos of me um, with the gear in action on the ride. And then I'm planning also on doing a like full video on all the gear that I currently have and wear and for what different reasons I have it. So that'll be coming in the future at some point. Uh, no promises on the exact date because of uh, school stuff, but it will be coming in the future. So I'm super excited that Harley invited me on uh, this trip to demo the Pan America. There's going to be other moto vloggers there as well, including your favorite doodle. So definitely going to have another vlog with both of us in it. So stick around for that. I hate spicy squad. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.